Hello and welcome back to another episode of Flex with Alex. Today I'm joined with one of the 888 Poker Ambassadors, the wonderful Vivi Saliba. How are you doing, Vivi? Great, how are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. So obviously throughout lockdown, I'm assuming, you know, you've been grinding away hard at your desk and maybe you've not been stretching out too much, and maybe not been fixing the little kinks and the little aches and pains that we get in our backs when we're sat down for such long periods of time. I have some very simple solutions which don't require much effort at all, can be done from the comfort of your own desk. Some very simple stretches will provide pretty much instantaneous relief. I think it is very, very, very important to move your body. When you play poker, I feel like if you work out, it will help you to concentrate more, to sleep better. Like you, you must have a clear mind and you must deal with your emotions. And sometimes you're going to be frustrated and irritated and just living healthier, eating better, sleeping better, working out. Uh, you kind of reach a balance where it, it is easier. 100%. Obviously, <laughs> poker is a mental game, but at the end of the day, how can you expect your mind to function optimally if the physical being that holds your mind is not functioning optimally? That's a it good all, way to connected. put it out. Yes, I agree 100%. So the first one we're going to do, are you're going to follow along with me, Vivi. <laughs> when you put your hands behind your head like this, and uh, without arching your lower back, I just want you to get some mobility in your thoracic spine. I'm hitting my tree here. And we're gonna go, just move from our upper and middle back area and just crunch down and up again. You should maybe feel some clicking or some crunching, that's normal. Should feel quite nice. Down the back of your spine. Just gonna go down, roll down and roll up again. Does that feel good? It does. Okay, and the next one is a desk cat cow. I don't know if you've done yoga and the cat cow stretches on all fours. We don't need to get on all fours for this. Put your hands on your knees and I want you to just round your back like a cat. And you should feel the stretching down like on your shoulders, the mid upper area of your back and then arch up like a cow, apparently. I never really understood that, but that's what it's called. <laughs> We're gonna go again. <laughs> Last time, rounding and then arching. Ah, that one was really effective for me. I really like that one. Most of the time, we're very hunched over. I think I'll be the first to admit that my posture sat down at my desk is shocking. So, what's the easiest way to get us out of a bad posture with a hunch? It's just to go the opposite way. So, we're gonna do some back arches. We're gonna put our arms over our head and we're gonna lean back just a little bit. Really stretch. You can That's maybe. Good. <laughs> Obviously, don't push it. We don't want any back injuries here. I will not be responsible for any back injuries. <laughs> I like to hold on to, to one hand or the other and just pull it. It really helps to stretch out a little bit more and swap them around if you're if you're holding on. Oh. Wow, I'm starting to feel like a new person already. So now we're gonna take a nice twist. This one's my favorite. Get ready for some cracks and crunches with this one. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna place one arm behind your chair, if you've got the back of the chair, hopefully you do. And you're gonna, you can put your other arm on the desk or the table to help kind of add a bit more pressure to the twist. And you're just gonna turn around and keep your hips facing forward. Oh, I felt some pops. I feel my Ooh. shoulders. It's nice. And then when you're ready, you can switch around to the other side. Again, you can see that I'm putting my right arm in the back of my chair. My left arm is just helping push me and twist me around. And I'm trying to keep my hips forward as much as possible. To really increase that, that twist in my thoracic spine. Okay, you can hold that for as long as you like. We're just gonna push our chair back a little bit and we're gonna place our elbows on our desk. Push your chair back and you just, my, my top is a bit tight, but um, you just can push your upper body through your elbows. And you should feel a nice stretch down your side and clasp your hands together, hold it in a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever feels most comfortable for you. Whew. All right. If you want, you could just roll out your shoulders last time. Feel all the, all the crunches and the... <laughs> 
and the kinks in that. And then just roll your neck out. And just like that, feel like a new person. And we didn't even stand up or leave our desk. How do you feel? It's good. It's definitely good. And our, those are things that you can do even while you're playing. You don't even have to right? be during exactly. your break. It's just a few seconds. Well, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'm glad I stretched you out a little bit. Felt good. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. I am, I am. <laughs> I, I feel like my posture is a little better. Cool, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching another episode of Flex with Alex. It's been great. I hope you've learned something. And we'll see you again very soon.